Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make one of my all-time favorite keto recipes, which is a twice-baked cauliflower casserole. I make this pretty much weekly. It reheats really well and it's easy to make, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So you're going to want to take one large head of cauliflower and chop it up and wash it off. And you're gonna put that into some salted boiling water for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how soft you like your vegetables to be. I like to make them pretty soft so that I can mash it into like a potato consistency. So we're gonna go ahead and set a timer for 15 minutes and let that boil. Okay, so now I'm going to take, there's, we need six slices of bacon fully cooked, but what you do is you leave two aside to top it and you just cut up four of the slices to mix into the mixture. So we'll go ahead and add those four. Now we're gonna add four ounces of full fat cream cheese, a fourth a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, a half a cup of full fat sour cream, one tablespoon of garlic powder. You can use a little bit less of that if you want. You do have to be careful with the carbs, but we love garlic, so. And then one fourth a cup of sliced scallions or green onions. And now we have everything in the bowl ready for when the cauliflower comes out. We'll put that in here after we drain it and we'll mash it together. Okay, so now I just got the cauliflower and drained it and it is nice and soft. And we're gonna go ahead and add that to all the ingredients that we already poured and we're gonna mush it all together. And I like to add all the ingredients first so that the heat from the cauliflower helps melt the cream cheese and all the ingredients and it just makes it blend really nicely. So we like to have it pretty smooth, but if you like to have little pieces of cauliflower that are intact, just mush it a little bit less and then you'll have some actual pieces. But we like to mush it into you know, a smoother consistency. So once you have that all mixed, I like to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Give it a quick stir. And now I'm gonna pour that into an eight by eight glass baking dish. And meanwhile, have your oven preheated to 350 degrees. Now you're gonna to top with one cup of shredded cheddar cheese and just spread that over evenly. And then we'll take those last two pieces of bacon that we held to the side, chop them up, and use that as a nice topping. Now we'll go ahead and put this in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until the cheese is melted. And here is the final product. So I'm serving this tonight with a chili lime chicken burger from Trader Joe's with some goat cheese on top. I hope you guys try this and like it. Let me know in the comments if you make it and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.